Hello, this is the 20th of July. I'm Dr. Tushar Shah, 12th day of our course on outpatient management of COVID-19. Today we talk about an evolving subject, lab testing for antibodies to COVID-19. There are two types of antibodies that are relevant to the infection. One is the IgM antibody. It is a more acute reaction to the virus. IgM appears maybe as early as the fourth day, but is not important for diagnosis and IgM can last for about 30 days. The IgG antibody on the, on the other hand comes a little later, maybe 14th day, 21st day and lasts for a few months maybe. The IgG antibody we say is probably more protective or more neutralizing to the virus than the IgM antibody, probably. Uh, this testing is done by two different methods. One is a qualitative method and one is a semi-quantitative method. The qualitative method involves a rapid card test. You know the pregnancy kit test and you put some urine in the well and you get some uh, red lines. Here you have to put blood drawn through a needle prick into the well, add a reagent and you get these lines of control IgG, IgM. The card tests as of today have to be discarded. They are poorly sensitive, poorly specific, do not correlate well with the patient's swab test or with the patient's semi-quantitative tests. So card tests will become very common. They'll become point of care tests at clinics. They'll become home tests by the patient. The, maybe the pharmacies will start doing that, them in the, in the chemist shops. They are going to be rampant and we are going to be harassed by the patients asking us to interpret the results of the card test. I would strongly tell you to notify your patients not to do the rapid card test at any point of time as of today. Now the second is the semi-quantitative test that is done by labs and this you know many labs in Mumbai for example, Metropolis, Suburban etc are doing the test. There are two good varieties in terms of quality, the Roche test and the Abbott test. There are more tests approved by ICMR. I don't know all the names, but I don't know their quality. The Roche test tests both IgG and IgM and the test done by Abbott does only the IgG. The Abbott test cutoff is 1.4 units. Anything more than 1.4 is considered positive for antibodies. The Roche test is 1.0 cutoff Anything more than 1.0 means antibodies are present. The higher the number, we would think logically that the greater the amount of antibodies and therefore the greater the protection. However, this has not been proven. We do not know if the higher number correlates with more protection. We don't even know whether there is protection. And if there is protection, we don't even know whether there is protection for a long time. So there is a lot of knowledge yet to be acquired related to antibodies. The semi-quantitative tests can cost anything between 600 to maybe 950 rupees. And I am strongly advising patients not to do the test without recommendation for some good reason. And the good reason for asking for antibody test is if the patient has had SARS-CoV-2 infection and now wants to donate plasma then antibody test may be useful, uh, will be useful and of course this is currently under trial so we don't know for sure even that if the plasma works because we don't know whether antibodies given by donors will protect a patient. No evidence as of today. The other group of patients which commonly get antibodies tested is the healthcare workers. Again I'm, I'm hard pressed to uh, believe that this will help healthcare workers to resume duty or to people to come back to jobs because there is no reliability yet that the antibodies mean that the patient does not have transmissible virus. So you can still be infective and have IgG antibodies in your blood. So I, I think antibody testing is to be reserved for very few cases if at all. Thank you so much.